Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am excited. Can't you tell by the sound in my voice? That's because we're going over the Pie Lover's Ultimate Strawberry Cream Pie. And on this channel, the food is always the star. Y'all ready? First things first, we're going to use one stick of butter and drop it in that sauce pot, y'all. And then we're going to add our strawberries, y'all. I'm using frozen strawberries, two pounds to be exact. Even though the bag says four pounds, I'm using two, y'all. Two cups of powdered sugar, and we're going to get that in there, and we're going to whisk that up. Now, we got the heat on high. We need this to get to a rolling boil, y'all. The rolling boil is important so that sugar can come together and those berries can break down y'all and why that's happening let me ask you how often do you get to cook really how often do you get to cook for yourself your family your friends are you too busy to cook for yourself i understand it i understand if you're too busy or you don't know how to but here we got you covered we go over everything, appetizers, game day food, vegan dishes. We're going to be going over vegetarian dishes. We're going to go over soups. We're going to go over party food. We're going to go over barbecue. We're going to go over everything, y'all. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that like button, too, while you're at it, y'all. Now we're going to phase in this last cup of powdered sugar, y'all. And we're going to get that whisked in and bring it up to a rolling boil that rolling boil is important now i know i have 15 to 20 minutes but determining your instrumentation you have at home or whatever facility you are located in you might need 10 minutes i know if i was in a restaurant or using a gas burner i might need 10 to 12 minutes to do this process but we're gonna cut the temperature down and let that thicken you saw that heavy cream that's because i'm shaking it up on the side too so i'm letting that heavy cream shake and thicken and what you see me pour in is a simple serve, a citrus simple serve that I made recently. All right, y'all, we want to make sure we phase in now this heavy cream. The temperature needs to be elevated, y'all, because the cream is cold. So we want that temperature not to drop so much. So we want to make sure we have the temperature elevated, y'all, and whisk it in. Whisk it in and bring it back up to a rolling boil. That rolling boil is important. We need everything to come together, and that rolling boil gets that going. Now, let's take a look now that we've cut the heat down, and we feel we may have completed this process. It looks like it, y'all. I mean, everything looks good, but an eyeball test, nah, nah, that's not going to cut it. We have to take the chef's test, y'all. We need to see if the sauce is going to stay or run. No drip, no run. It stayed. We know it's thick enough. You need to make sure it's thick enough before you start the straining process. I've done it before when it's not thick enough and I was so disheartened. So take your time and keep on cooking it if you need to keep reducing it. Reduce it, y'all. Now, we're going to whisk out the strawberry sauce, y'all. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Get out as much of that strawberry sauce as possible, y'all. Now, what's in that strainer, place that on whatever you have. I have some wax paper. I sprayed it down with some prep spray. If you have aluminum foil, if you have plastic wrap, it don't matter. Spray that down. If you, all you have is a sheet tray, spray that down. If you have just a plate or a bowl, spray that down. It don't matter. And let it cool. And you'll be able to get it out and use it however you want to use it. Because I have a primary use for this right here, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Whoo wee That look good there. That strawberry jam. Whoo wee That look good there. Oh, yeah. Take a look at that. We're going to take that strawberry jam and put it in this strawberry cream filling, y'all. Y'all, we got two blocks of cream cheese that was at room temperature. I couldn't find my mix. I had to use my Ninja blender, y'all. So I took my blender. I took that strawberry jam. I took that strawberry sauce I made and made this strawberry cream filling in my blender. 
Ooh, use whatever you got at home, whatever instrumentations you have, utilize it, y'all. So I have two packs of graham crackers, one stick of butter. That's a lot of graham crackers, a lot of butter. That's because I'm making quite a few pies here, y'all. So do you have to put that wax paper or parchment paper down? No, you don't. You don't have to put that down. You sure don't. But if you do not have a pan that is nonstick and you want a pie and you want to cook it, I suggest putting down some wax paper, some parchment paper, and then going through this process right here, y'all. You saw me spray the glass bowl. Why? Because I don't want that graham cracker crust to stick, and I want that to be flat and look as pretty as possible, y'all. Now, I'm doing the vanilla pudding mix, y'all. Vanilla pudding calls for three cups of milk, y'all, but you see that two and a quarter cup of milk. Two and a quarter cup of milk is what I'm using right here. Yes, I am, because I don't follow the standard recipe. I got something else. I got a secret agent I'm going to put in, which is two-third cup of heavy cream. That's my secret agent right here. Heavy cream, y'all. Now we're going to lay it all out because the vanilla pudding is chilling in the refrigerator right now, y'all. Okay? Now we're going to get all this laid out. Let it chill in the refrigerator just for a touch, too. And then we're going to pull out the pudding mix, and we're going to pull this out, and we're going to lay it. Look how thick and pretty that cream pudding mix is y'all on top of that strawberry cream pie filling y'all this is the ultimate strawberry cream pie mm -hmm. so now we know how to make it if we have a non-stick pan all we need to do is just layer it put something down and put our spray down there and we can pull that up now let's try it a different way we're gonna add food coloring y'all mm, look at that vibrancy with that food coloring vibrant thing yes it is oh look at that looking good I'm telling you so we're gonna do this without the parchment paper the wax paper right mm-hmm because we have a non-stick pan and we have edges this go around y'all we got edges we got crust all the way around edges too y'all mm -hmm. now look at the color the vibrancy of it, that's what it's all about. And you can see how this pudding mixture turned out. This cream pudding we just did, y'all, it looks phenomenal, y'all. And that's what it's all about. Y'all, if y'all feel it's something I miss or something y'all like to see, let us know so we can add it to the playlist, y'all. Because that's what it's all about, y'all. Not just desserts. It could be anything because this is what I love to do. I do it for a living, y'all. I don't get paid for this on YouTube. This is what I do for a living in real life. Why not share it with the world? Why not share your passion with the world? Whatever you do, that's what I love to do, y'all. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next side. But take a look at the Pie Lovers Ultimate Strawberry Cream Pie. And never forget, on this channel, the food is always the star, y'all. Again, thank y'all for watching us. Thank y'all for joining us.